I mean, we live in one of the most beautiful countries in the world, but I'm biased because I'm from there. What's an oath? Happy Canada Day. It's exciting. Today is a day of, generally in Canada, it's seen as a day of celebration. I think a lot of people have a lot of things to celebrate. One being, at least for Alberta, and probably some other provinces as well, this kind of marks one of the first days that we can actually have our restrictions lifted that have been kind of with us for the last 16 months. I think for some people, Canada Day represents a day to remember the past and often it gets, the focus gets put on, you know, our first prime ministers and people who are involved in the creation of Canada. But I think this Canada Day is different. In Canada, we've had some heavy news. Some of our indigenous brothers and sisters have come to learn, and we, as alongside with them, that um, many victims of residential schools are being found almost daily as we continue to find uh, people who have been erased in the past as these revelations keep coming out each one kind of seems to sting a little harder and so for some people it's really hard to to deal with right now It's, it's a bit of a touchy subject because, you know, we want to look to our past and at least acknowledge that certain parts of history happened, especially the, the uncomfortable ones, without completely forgetting some of the other ones that, that happened as well. Yeah, it's not an easy answer. So, I'm proposing an easy solution. So there's a book by John Ralston Saul, A Fair Country, that proposes the idea that Canada is at its core kind of Métis. And that's like small m Métis. Meaning we have shared struggle. We, we struggle with an identity in Canada in that we, you know, we say, well, we're not British. And we say, well, we're not American. We, we go further and say, and we're not indigenous. But in that book, John Ralston Saul, Saul proposes that in fact, we are indigenous, that Canada is an indigenous nation. And that some of the, the things that make Canada great Things like, I mean, we get complimented on it all the time, our politeness, our, our willingness to engage in conversation, um, our willingness to, you know, let whoever sit at the table with us, that that, that openness, the willingness to share, is actually something very indigenous. And so I feel like on Canada Day, I think it's worth at least bringing up the fact, if we're gonna celebrate it, let's celebrate the fact that being Canadian is at least in part being indigenous. That we can, uh, we can give some of our gratitude and our thanks for Canada existing as a nation. We can give that thanks to our indigenous brothers and sisters for some of the values that they held and that we adopted. In a way, we are like the Métis in that we've 
struggled with our identity for so long, trying to figure out who we are as a nation. How do we move forward out of the mess that it feels like we're in right now? It seems simple. Just acknowledge the fact that we are a Métis nation, that we share some of those values with our Indigenous brothers and sisters, and that we are willing to embrace them as our own. I mean, yeah, we, we've, we've got to mourn with the people that we, you know, share this country with. Happy Canada Day. This is a great place to live. We attempt to include others. We're not always good at it. Sometimes we really suck at it. But I feel like as a way to kind of acknowledge who we are as Canadians on Canada Day, we're gonna have to at least look to some of the roots of our niceness, our indigenous brothers and sisters and acknowledge the fact that we only got here because of them, not despite them. <laughs>